Muted. What is good, YouTube? How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a fantastic, fantastic Sunday. Happy, happy Father's Day to all the fathers within Redder Nation. Um, blessings and blessings to you guys. Happy Father's Day. And we are here, man. We are here. We are doing a live film study of new Las Vegas Raiders linebacker, Jay Yon Brown. That is the plan for today. Obviously, there's no game on Sunday this week. So we got to bring, we got to bring some film, man. We got to show you guys what our new additions is all about. And that's what we're going to do today with Jay Yon, uh, linebacker Jay Yon Brown. And, um, Listen, man, let me give a quick shout out to everybody who's already in the building. We already got Anthony, Egalitarian, Andre, HM was good. Uh, Raider Ray, Raider Junkie, Carlos, Realist, Raider Junkie again. Shout out to everybody who's already in here, almost 50 deep in less than two minutes. Shout out to you guys. But look, look, I'm ready for this, man, because as we all know, the Las Vegas Raiders, we really haven't had somebody that can match up one-on-one -on -one to running backs, matchup one-on-one -on -one to tight ends. We haven't really been able to have that luxury at the linebacker position. And obviously, we know the history with Jayon Brown back in 2018-19. He was graded the best coverage linebacker amongst all eligible linebackers in that year. So we know he can ball. Now, the Titans decided to make him transition from an outside linebacker to an inside linebacker, so the play dropped just a bit. But look, in this video, in this film session, we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about everything. And shout out to more people who pulled up. We got Swin, Raider Nightmare, Raider Ruckus, Jose, AJ, Mike, uh, Brandon, AJ Simpson. What's good with everybody pulling in? Let's get everybody in here. We want everybody to be educated on this new linebacker that the Las Vegas Raiders have decided to sign. So without further ado, let me get this uh, situated for you guys. David was good, my brother. Let me uh, drop that on there. Send that notification out to Twitter. If you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter, man, so you get that notification when we go live. Swim Raider was good. But uh, look, let me pull this up on the screen for you guys. And let's get straight into this, man. Let's get straight into the film. Like I was just saying, the Las Vegas Raiders haven't had that luxury of having a coverage linebacker for guys out the backfield and all that stuff. And this shows you how much trust the Tennessee Titans have uh, in their linebackers. Right here, I believe this is Chase Edmonds, a very, very good scat back a guy that can line up on the outside and that's exactly what they try and do on this play you see Jayon brown lined up against chase edmonds their scat back this is a guy that they like to use as a swiss army knife um this is kind of what they did once they lost uh king and drake so just look at how they believe they have a mismatch here with Jayon brown chase edmonds try and get on the pick play just doesn't work absolutely good job takes them into the takes them into the end zone Good job by linebacker Jayon Brown. He's again right here. You'll be able to see it. He'll come off screen and then come back on. But he does a good job of just taking out Chase Edmonds on the play there. And uh, that's not the only time he does it. He does it again on this next play. Let me pull that up for you guys. Right here, you're going to see the exact same thing. They're going to try him again. Where is Jayon Brown, you ask? He is right here. Now he's matched up with. James Conner, as we know, they use James Conner a lot in the red zone this year. Um, again, outside the backfield, they're not allowing him 
nothing. Nothing flies. Scramble drill, nothing is working. Very, very good job by Jayon Brown to get underneath him on that play. You'll see it better from this angle. You got Jayon, uh, I believe, is that James Conner? I'm not sure what James Conner number is, but I'm pretty sure that's James Conner. Uh, again, you'll see him splits out the backfield. James Conner tries to go up the field on the scramble drill. Nothing available for Kyler Murray there. Does a good, good job. But coverage is a strong suit for Mr. Jayon Brown, and we all know this. We all know this. Uh, but some would say that maybe his tackling, maybe his run stopping isn't the strongest asset of his game. And this is where you'll see that Jayon Brown does need to be a lot more aggressive when it comes to stopping this run. Because you'll see, we know this player right here, this center right here, we know him pretty damn well. He goes by the name of Rodney Hudson. Just look at what he'll do to Jayon Brown, goes up to the second level, Jayon needs to get off of that block. Now, we know Rodney Hudson is a damn good center. We had him for many years. We had him for many years. But uh, we got to make sure that we don't get blocked off like that. We need to be more aggressive with our hands. Hold on. Let me let me see what this noise is about. Sorry about that, you guys. Don't you love, don't you guys love dogs, man? Don't you guys love dogs? God damn. But back to what I was doing. Sorry about that. We got Rodney here. You'll see Jayon Brown. He gets up to the second level. We need to be able to release our hands because guess what? Plays like that happen. We can't allow um, runs up the gut. We got to be able to get off the block. We got to be able to shed the lineman. Has to get that fixed up 110%. Now, next up, we're going still still within this game, still within this game. His coverage is so well trusted by this team. Do you guys know who Christian Kirk is? Do you guys know this man got cashed out? He is a baller, right? Well, guess what? Jayon Brown's going to take him, take away the crossing pattern. Good job. Absolutely just mirrors him. On every single movement, this is Jayon Brown right here. You got Christian Kirk right here. Mirrors him the entire, entire way. Exactly what you want from a good coverage linebacker. And you see, Jayon Brown is the only guy in the middle of the field here. The only guy. The only guy there. Christian Kirk. This is supposed to be a guy that's worth $75 plus million. All this kind of nonsense, right? Well, Jayon Brown does his job. You'll see it from a better angle here. He's on a crosser. He's trying to get over and behind the linebacker and get into this sweet spot at the top where the safety's uh, blind spot is at. But Jayon Brown does a phenomenal job here. He does a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Look at how easy it is with his hips. Just rides him all the way out. Perfect, perfect job by Jayon Brown there on that play. And look, we were just talking about how he does need to – Helping that run game. He needs to get better stopping the run. Well, he shows in this next play that he can do it. He can do it. He's not just all, he's not just all coverage, right? He's not all coverage. You got Jayon Brown right here. He's gonna come downhill. He's gonna make this play. Good job. Meets him in the hole. Very, very good tackle. You'll see it from a better angle on this play. You got Jayon Brown here. You got the Cardinals running a, zone, a power gap scheme for Chase Edmonds, and he meets him right up in the hole. Meets him right up in the hole for a sure tackle. This is going to be very, very good one-on-one. -on -one. This will be interesting to see when you have a power. Rusty, come here. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. These dogs, man. These dogs. Hate them. Like I said, you're going to see the concept. You're going to see a double team here. You're going to see the guard pull here. And he's going to get in there. He's going to get in there. Does a good job stopping the run on that play. Very good job by uh, Mr. Jayon Brown here on that play. Stopping the run. Does a good job. Now, next up on here, I got another play for you guys where, in my opinion, this needs – we need more discipline on this, right? Because now they put him at the outside linebacker spot where I believe that he'll be in quite a bit when um, 
when we're in our 3-4. So you got Jayon Brown here. This, he is supposed to make sure that Kyler Murray doesn't do exactly what Kyler Murray is about to do. And he bites too hard on the run. Kyler Murray is walking in for six. We can't have that happen. You got to be able to stay more disciplined on this play. You got to be able to know alignment, assignment. You got to have better football IQ on that play to know that this is a running quarterback, to know that this, this, you got all your help in the middle. You got to be able to understand here that this player is going to try and make a play. It's exactly what happens. You need to do better on that play. But again, he does a pretty damn good job making up for his mistakes on this next play where um, where he does just that. He makes up for his mistakes and again does a good job filling up the run filling up the run gaps coming downhill. Again, you'll see it. They got this weird ass formation where they got a fullback, really that's a tight end, where they got a a, a running back this is the pistol. They're trying to confuse the team. But Jayon Brown does a good job on this play. Again, coming downhill, meeting them in the hole, and making the tackle. Does another good job there. So we want to be able to be consistent with disciplined football. But we also want to have that luxury of a good linebacker to come downhill, make tackles, but also be able to go and um, shadow receivers, shadow corner, I mean, shadow tight ends. All these guys. Gets back there, does a good job in on the play, in on the tackle. You love to see it. Now. Next up right here, this next play does a very good job. Again, taking away the crossers. In this pass-heavy league, you need to be able to take away these crossing patterns. It's a very good design by offenses to try and get big, big chunk plays. And that's exactly what he does. Again, you got Jayon Brown isolated with the wide receiver. This is a slot receiver. Um, again, just taking him all the way across the field. Still good hips, everything gets away, gets sacked. Good job, gets coverage, just enough time to be able for his lineman to get in there, get a sack, take down the quarterback. But nonetheless, good job by Mr. Jayon Brown. Again, taking away these coverage plays, making sure that nothing goes deep. Good job by Jayon Brown. Now, next up, next up, we are going against the Jacksonville – oh, is this the Jaguars? Yes, this is the Jacksonville Jaguars game where it's a very good job. You'll see he has a very good series of plays here. Um, you'll see the way that he's able to take away a whole different bunch of stuff. He's able to take away a bunch of stuff on this series, and it's uh, very, very interesting to see how well he does taking away the crosser again on this play, takes away these crossing – patterns. Now you got Jayon Brown uh, here, I believe. Yeah, you have Jayon Brown there, flips his hips, opens up to the second round rookie out of, uh, I believe it was Buffalo? Out of Buffalo? You got LaVishka Chenault lined up in the slot. He opens up his hips, reads the crossing pattern, does a good job. Obviously, his corners give up the bigger play, but He's doing his assignment. You got Jayon Brown here. Lavishka <coughs> Chenault is over here. He opens up his hips. He takes away the big play. Does a very, very good job with that. <coughs> Was good with you, my brother. My brother Kenny's in the building. And you'll see on this next play, you got Jayon Brown lined up on the opposite side. What do you want out of your linebackers? When it's a pass play, you want your linebackers to get a hand on every single person. Bump him off his route a little bit. Move him off of his lane. Do anything that you can to disrupt the wide receiver as long as it's legal, as long as it's legal. And this is something that Jayon Brown does very, very well. He's able to always get a hand on the tight end, on the wide receiver. Here gives him a nice push into the safety. Very, very, very good job there. Shout out. Hold on. My brother, 818. He says, yo, Andy, I was watching the Raiders versus Bengals playoff games, and one of the biggest reasons why we lost was, was, was because we couldn't stop Chase. Do we have someone this season that can keep up with a receiver like him? Shout out to my brother, 818 Raider. And look, man, 
we have a very, very young core at the cornerback position. So it'll be interesting to see who steps up. At the end of the season, uh, my brother 818, I believe that we will find out what we have in our cornerback room. And it kind of sucks because, you know, you would like to go into a year with the com- with the comfort of knowing, okay, well, this person's going to shadow their number one receiver. In my opinion, 818, I think the best guy on this roster to be able to shadow him uh, or a guy like him would probably re- be Rocky Sin. He's the guy that can really go man on man. Um, he, he was ranked in the top five of the NFL in man coverage. So we want to be able to go out We want to be able to go out and put our best guys in there. I think that Rocky Sin will end up being our best corner by the end of the season. Um, Hopefully, hopefully one of these guys steps up, though, into a true number one corner. Shout out to my brother, 818, uh, always showing love to the channel. But back to what we were doing here. Like I said, Jayon Brown here knocks the tight end just far enough into the safety, and guess what? They get the quarterback down on the ground, or no, the quarterback has to check the ball down. Very, very good job. Shout out to my brother, uh, Black Sales Sports Talk, in the building, my brother, Goody. It was good, man. Again, you'll see it better from this angle. Just a shove, just a slight shove, knocks the tight end a little bit off his route, gives the safety enough time to come down. Beautiful, beautiful job. And this is where it gets... This is where it gets fun, man. This is where it gets really, really fun because, boom, this is something that you'll see Patrick Graham do a lot. Show blitz, drop guys back, or he'll show zone, go in man. Show man, go in zone. This is where the trickery begins, and I like to show you guys this because Jayon Brown actually gets a pick on this play. You'll see Jayon Brown. Oh, my fault. Let me full screen that. Jayon Brown is right here. He is going to come downhill to show the blitz, engages with the lineman, comes off, and gets the interception. Does a very good job. You'll see, baits the quarterback into an ill-advised throw. The quarterback thinks he was going to uh, keep the rush going. He drops back into coverage and baits the quarterback for a good, good turnover by Jayon Brown. So you'll check it out. This is a better angle. Jayon Brown right here engages with the lineman, drops back into coverage. Beautiful, beautiful play. And the reason why I like that play so much is because I honestly feel like that is something that you'll see Patrick Graham do a lot of. I We saw it when we were doing the Patrick Graham film session. Uh, he liked to show a lot of different coverages, a lot of different ways of coverage, and he just is disguising everything. And in that play, it was a disguised blitz, right? And he does a good job getting off the lineman, getting back into coverage, getting a good interception. That's just something that Jayon Brown has in his locker. That's just something that he's able to do. And Jayon Brown is able to do this a lot, right? Now, a, a good example here, this is when they said, you know what? Let's send Jayon Brown on the blitz. Sadly, it was a screenplay, so you know he's not he's gonna get back there. He is gonna disrupt Trevor Lawrence because he absolutely blows up the running back, puts Trevor Lawrence on a bad pass, makes him throw off his back foot, and it's a bad pass, gets the defense in a better position. Boom. What happens next? Two plays later, Trevor Lawrence throws another interception because of a good, good blitz by Jayon Brown on first down. Puts them in a bad situation on second and third. Again, Jayon Brown with a blitz. Blows up the running back. Good job by Jayon Brown there. Now, we're going to go. We're going to go to Pittsburgh. To Schittsburg. And we're going to show you a little bit what he needs to do. Now, in this play, you'll see Najee Harris lined up in the backfield next to Big Ben Roethlisberger. This is Jayon Brown here. Again, we know that Najee Harris was an extremely, extremely big part of the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, and he just takes it away. Najee Harris is going to want to jump out into the flats. Jayon Brown is having absolutely none of that. Spills out with with, uh, Najee Harris, takes away that play, forces big man to throw a bad pass. Good job. They get off on defense. Good job by Jayon Brown. You'll see it better here. Just follows Najee Harris out into the flats. We know 
Austin Eckler is going to be doing that a lot. So it gives me good confidence to see Jayon Brown doing it to, to talent like Najee Harris. Obviously, Najee isn't the route runner that um that a guy like, um what's his name, Austin Eckler is. But it's still nice to see, in my opinion. Now, here, you're going to see this man again get his hands on the tight end and he passes him down to the free safety. So you got Jayon Brown right here. You got Jayon Brown right here. Pa passes him down to the free safety. Does a good job. Very, very good job. Or he doesn't get his hands on him, but he does a good job running with him stride for stride, <clears throat> taking that taking that receiver away. You got Jayon Brown here. This is Jayon Brown's guy. This is Jayon Brown's guy. Running downfield, runs far enough, flips his hips, turns back to the quarterback. Now Big Ben can't throw that pass because now the safety is in a very good position to come downfield and make a play. Make a play. Jayon Brown's flipping his hips to now help on the guy underneath. Big Ben gets sacked. That is a good coverage sack. Everybody doing their part. Jayon Brown taking the deepest shot downfield away. Very good job. Very, very good job. You got his receiver or his tight end here, and this is Jayon Brown going all the way downfield with him, passing him off to the safety, flipping his hips here, making sure that Chase Claypool doesn't have nothing free underneath. Safety's over the top, making sure that this tight end gets smacked or gets picked, the ball gets picked off if he even tries it, and it's a coverage sack. Very good job again. Jayon Brown, man, you cannot be disappointed with what the Las Vegas Raiders are doing by bringing in Mr. Jayon Brown. Now, lastly, we got the freaking whiners. We got the whiners. What can he do against the Niners? What can he do against George Kittle, right? And we're going to see a little bit of that stuff, and we're going to get into it. Now, right here on this play, this is third down. This is third down for the Niners. They're trying to find a receiver to move the chains. As you can see, the chains is right here on the 32-yard line. They need to get to the 32-yard line. You'll see Jayon Brown right here. <coughs> Where is he going to be guarding? He's going to make sure he takes away Brandon Ayuk. Where is Brandon Ayuk running? He's running to the first down. And this is just smart football by Jayon Brown to not come down immediately on the guy who isn't running for the first down. He takes away the big chunk play. He takes away the guy that's going to get the first down and move the chains. Instead, he goes stride for stride with Brandon Ayuk, comes downhill on that play, and they get a sack. Why? Because Jimmy Garoppolo is looking for the first down play. And guess what? He eliminates that. He eliminates that by instead of running with the guy that's running the drag, he comes over and he goes with Brandon Ayuk. He is smart when it comes to being able to guard the sticks as well, guard the line, not the line of scrimmage, but the line to gain. Very, very good play again by Jayon Brown. Good coverage ability uh, to be able to, you know, take away the receiver on that play. Now, next up, we got another play of, of course, Mr. Jayon. And this time he's gonna be, he's gonna make a nice little tackle on Debo on first down. Uh, you know, Debo Samuel is a guy that's really, really hard to take down. So you got Debo Samuel in the backfield here. You got Jayon Brown here. First down. We want to know what his tackling is like. Can he take down Debo Samuel? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. He could take down a hard runner. That's good. We need to be able to get after these guys. And there's a lot of trickery going on in the backfield. So he's still able to keep his eyes. On the ball carrier, comes downhill, gets in there, got to get that tackle, and he does. Good job again. Now, on this next two plays, we're going to be able to see more of Jayon Brown doing good things in coverage. Let's see. You got the Niners here. They're in a – you got Kittle here. Yep. So you got Deuce on the left, Jayon Brown here in the middle. Hike the ball again. Jayon Brown is taking away the deepest threat. He took away Debo, passes Debo into the next zone of the corner. He's coming here to uh to Brandon Ayuk. But guess what? Brandon Ayuk is bracketed by this slot corner. So he decides to go far downfield, helping out his safety. Good play again. 
this guy right here is extremely, extremely comfortable in coverage. And I love this, man. I freaking love this, man. It's absolutely amazing to see a guy that the Raiders now have able to just go out there and cover like no problem. No problem at all. And keep in mind, he's only on a one-year deal, but he's only 27. He's only 27. So very good. Very, very good here. Now, um, one other thing I want to show, oh no, two other things I want to show you is this play. I, I told you that I was going to show you uh, him a little bit on Kittle. Now, this play here, we know that with the Kansas City Chiefs no longer having Mr. Tyreek Hill, this allows us to be able to bracket Travis Kelsey. So, George Kittle is here. George Kittle is lined up there in the, in, in the wide receiver spot. So let me put this figure or let me put this image into your head. This is Jayon Brown. This is Nate Hobbs. You have a bracket with Nate Hobbs and Jayon Brown on George Kittle. Check this out. Very, very good job. Nope. George Kittle has nowhere to go. George Kittle has nowhere to go. And if that's Travis Kelsey, and now Mahomes is forced to throw the ball to Marcus Valdez Scantling or Juju Smith Schuster or their rookie, their five foot rookie receiver. This is going to be a very, very good day for the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, this is just <clears throat> this is just to show you that Jayon Brown, he can help with the brackets on tight ends. He can do that stuff. Now, you see, like I said, imagine that's Nate Hobbs. You got Jayon Brown, eyes on the hips, takes away that play. Beautiful. This this will be Nate Hobbs. This will be Jayon Brown on Travis Kelsey. This is going to be a fun, fun time. Now, last play I want to show you. Last play I want to show you. When the, when, the, when the time is up and the game is on the line, you got Jayon Brown right here lined up all the way on the outside for some reason. All the way on the outside for some reason. You got this man, Jayon Brown. He'll make the game-winning tackles. He'll make the game-winning tackle. As a matter of fact, Hobbs is our best DB, period. None of our safeties are better than Hobbs in coverage or hitting. Uh, you got Hobbs fucked up. <laughs> you got Hobbs fucked up. Well, you got Mr. Jayon Brown here. He'll help Hobbs out. Boom. Game winner. Seal the deal. And just like that, with that game-winning tackle, that is going to wrap up the film session for today. He does a good job, man. He does a very, very, very good job with that. I was very impressed. Very, very impressed um, to see how he can play, how he can do in the run, in the pass, bracketing tight ends. We should be happy. We should be very, very happy with what we have in uh, in this new linebacking core. I'll be very, very excited to see that happen. Um, greetings, Andy. Hope you uh, hope your ha your father's having a great day in Red Nation. Appreciate you, my brother Kyle. Appreciate you, my brother. I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace out, Kenny. Peace out, my brother. Uh, Andy, glad you're feeling better. God bless you. Thank you, Kyle. Appreciate you. God bless as well, man. But listen, you guys, what do you guys think about the new linebacker? You guys like him? I think he could cover his ass off. I think the man can cover his ass off, and I love it. <laughs> and I love it. I absolutely love it, man. Um, shout out to everybody who pulled up. We had over 120 of you guys watching the um, – so Jayon's Brown's underrated. I want to say he's underrated because he had a year where he was looking phenomenal. So that really put him on the map. But uh, I'm very happy with what we have, man. Very, very happy with what we got. I hope to see him, Divine Diablo, and Denzel Perryman really take the reins over this defense. And it'll be a fantastic, fantastic day. Yes, he did play for L uh, UCLA. I always get LSU and UCLA confused. But, yes, he played for them. Um, that's how he knows Colton and all those guys, Andre James. Those guys are always clipped up, clicked up at practice and all that kind of stuff. So very, very excited to see that. Um, I missed the film. Hey, it's only 28 minutes long. You can go and rewatch it. That's why I didn't want to make this too long. So we could, uh, for the people that missed it, can go back and watch it because I know that this film study stuff is something that people really, really enjoy watching. So 
I hope every single one of you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Again, for the fathers out there in Red Nation, happy Father's Day. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day um, with your families. As always, you guys, I love you guys. Stay safe. Have a wonderful day. And I am out, you guys. Peace. Welcome to the Death Star, where our opponent's dreams come to die.